The Mi Band 6, considered by many to be the best fitness tracker, is now smarter than ever thanks to the consistent software updates and the release of the brand new global version of Mi Band 6 with NFC. Let's inspect! Hey, welcome back! Nice to meet you, my name is Michael. What we do here is inspect fresh, cool tech and here is the latest edition of Mi Band 6. I I don't really know why I'm showing you this because it really looks identical to the non-NFC edition. But yes, this here is the NFC edition. I, I guess the only difference I could notice is uh, on, on the button of the strap there is a small line which looks like copper. I don't really think there visually are any other differences. So the same interface, the same performance now, global version with NFC chip. And I'll try to keep this video short because I already have a very detailed and full of examples and information video covering the original Mi Band 6 without NFC, so you can check it out to get to know about all its health and non-health tracking features and its actual performance. It's been close to six months since the initial release and Mi Band 6 has received a number of good updates adding more functions and increasing the security. Now, I want to show you what is interesting about the NFC edition of the global version, because there already is NFC edition for China, but it took months for Xiaomi to prepare the global NFC version, I believe mostly because of negotiations and optimizations of Xiaomi Wear app with banks and cards. In order to be able to make contactless payments, there are generally two major things that you need. First of all, you need the hardware piece supporting NFC, so the Mi Band 6 NFC edition is perfect for that. Some smartphones also have NFC chip, but even if you don't have on your smartphone, being connected to the Mi Band 6 NFC edition, that's going to be okay. Second thing you need is a software that can process the transaction and also carry your bank card details. And uh, most conveniently, the software should be residing on your smartphone. And there are a lot of other variables. You need a card, a bank card, which is supported by the software. You need to go through a setup procedure, which is going through some security features, and also you adding your bank card inside the software. And after that, once you have the confirmation, everything has been approved and accepted, you can make the payments. I'm saying all that because just buying the Mi Band 6 NFC edition doesn't mean that you can magically go ahead and make purchases, no. You gotta closely follow the steps. Let me show you. I'm gonna take the chance to quickly guide you through the smartphone app, which shows everything that Mi Band 6 NFC edition has been tracking in the past three weeks of using it. Extremely precise and reliable, and with very accurate HR and SpO2 tracking, it can easily put to shame a lot of modern smartwatches, and best part is that it consistently was providing to me close to 10 days of battery life with all the tracking features on. A lot of sports and workouts, continuous heart rate, blood oxygen saturation, sleep tracking, stress levels, detailed analysis, predictions, health recommendations, together with a lot more useful features like reminders, alarms, even Alexa as a smart assistant. Six months later, I can say that at this budget, there is nothing that can be the Mi Band 6 in terms of hardware and software both. Now, to the payments showcase, we need to open the corresponding section in the Xiaomi Wear app. Just go ahead, select devices and go to Xiaomi Pay. The band has to be connected, otherwise you cannot open the menu. The app is going to ask you to add a security pin. This is the pin that you have to enter in order to unlock the band prior to making the payment. Then we can add the card and we have to enter the details. Note that currently only MasterCard is supported. So go ahead, enter the details and go to the next section. There is a database with the supposedly supported banks, however, no matter what country I was choosing, it didn't really show anything. I can confirm that for sure, Curve, a service that you can use free of charge pretty much across whole Europe, works just fine and you can add a card. Once the step completes, you're gonna be asked for the CVV code and then there's one more confirmation until you finalize the procedure. Essentially, that's most of the procedure. Next thing is you to try to pay something. Just swipe, select the card, press the next key and you have one minute to complete the transaction by placing the Mi Band close to the bank terminal. As easy as that. As a proof, I've tried detecting the NFC chip inside the band with NFC tools and it works like charm. 
For all of your transactions, you're going to see a detailed list. And I assume that in time, Xiaomi are going to add a lot more features and banks in the support list. So that was it. And I tried to keep this video short, straight to the point, and hopefully mission accomplished. Um, I guess now it's clear that both Android and iOS users can take advantage of this new Mi Band 6 NFC edition. And I need to be very clear, if you have the original Mi Band 6, it's not just a software update, you know, it's, it's a hardware component which gets added to this device and gets enabled with this new release. So you, you just might have to buy this thing in order to support contactless payments. But from this video, I think we have two key takeaways uh, and I'm really curious to see if and how both of them are going to evolve. First thing, Xiaomi Pay. That's a brand new service. I'm really curious to see how Xiaomi are going to further develop it and which other devices they would bring support for in the smartphone app. And uh, secondly, I do expect the next generation of Mi Band, its global release to be containing both the NFC and the non-NFC edition at the same time, unlike what happened now in 2021. So that's been everything about today's episode. I hope it was useful and easy to follow. And if you have any questions or remarks or ideas or anything else you would like to share, please add it to the comment section below the video. As usual, links to all the gear, including this device, in the description below the video. My name is Michael, been a pleasure and thank you very much for visiting my channel today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye!